This is going to be a instructional video for completing the registration process with the Oregon Medical Marijuana Program, which is a division of the Oregon Health Authority. Uh, after visiting your physician for an examination and obtaining all of the application paperwork, you will need to uh, prepare your application packet uh, pending your situation and then mail certified the application packet to the state. Uh, I have the address listed at the top of this form. You'll see it's OMMP slash OHA PO Box 14450 Portland, Oregon 97293 0450. Uh, in this application packet, uh, bulleted at the top of this form, you'll see they first will expect to receive your application form. Uh, at the end of this video, we'll be briefly going over how to prepare this document. Uh, the next thing that they would expect to receive is going to be a copy of your uh, government-issued photo ID, which can be any form of just that, uh, whether it's a federally issued or state-issued uh, identification. The third thing that the state would recommend is a money order or personal check made out to the OMMP slash OHA. Uh, please note that a personal check will carry an additional 10 days of processing time uh, in order for you to receive your registered card. If you do qualify for any of the benefits uh, which warrant a discount um, listed, you will need to include proof of enrollment. Uh, these programs are supplemental security income, not to be confused with social security income or social security disability, uh, neither of which carry a discount. So supplemental security income, uh, SNAP food stamps, the Oregon Health Plan, or 100% disability through the Veterans Administration. Uh, when we go over the application form at the end of this video, I'll discuss the various fees that are associated with these programs uh, through the various benefits. Uh, but just know that if you do qualify, you will need to include proof of enrollment to uh, take advantage of that. The last item that they would expect to receive in this application packet is a completed attending physician statement which would have been signed by the physician uh, at your physical examination. Please note that this attending physician statement is only valid for 90 days from the date that it is dated on the bottom right. Uh, and if it does expire, you will need to return to your physician in order to have a return visit. The items that we've just outlined are the original documents that will be sent to the state certified mail. Uh, I would like to point out uh, halfway down this sheet, you'll see bolded that you will need to make and keep one photocopy of each of the following documents. Uh, this is going to create what's known as the safety packet. Uh, this safety packet will make you legal for possession, consumption, and cultivation. What you will do is you will uh, make and keep a copy of your attending physician statement, your completed application, and your check or money order. Once you have these three photocopies in hand, you may seal up your uh, envelope containing all of the original documents and send it off certified mail uh, to the address that we have at the top there. Um, at the post office, they will issue to you at the time of mailing a stamped certified mail receipt. You will combine this mail receipt with the three photocopies that you have retained uh, I would recommend stapling them together. Uh, these four things in your hand will make you legal for possession and consumption as discussed previously. Um, that would complete the application process. Uh, once you have that uh, safety packet in hand, you'll just then want to be sure that you also make your caregiver, and if you were to have one, your grower, identical copies of those four documents. The form that we are viewing now is the Oregon Medical Marijuana Program application form. This is the only form that you will need to actually complete after leaving the uh, physician's examination visit prior to submitting your application packet. Uh, the first box asks for your own patient information, which is required. Uh, you'll include your legal first, middle, and last uh, date of birth mailing address where you would like the medical marijuana card sent to. Uh, 
um, and also list your photo ID number, which would be your driver's license number, identification number, or passport number included on the ID that you will be including a photocopy of. Uh, the next box you'll see is for the caregiver. It is an optional position. Uh, you'll include all of the details that I've listed uh, previously for yourself, uh, but these will just be for the individual that you're going to list as a caregiver. So whether that's a uh, close relative or friend, um, an adult child, something along those lines. Um, the third box that we have on this form is for the grower slash grow site. Uh, this can be yourself. Uh, you would list all of the details from the first box redundantly if that was true. If you were going to list somebody else, you would once again list all of the same details um, that it asks for uh, in the first portion. And then I just want to make a special note and point out that it does ask for the gross site address. This can be a different address than the person's mailing address. Uh, in the situation that maybe your grower has an industrial space uh, that they use to cultivate. Um, I just want to point out that wherever the plants are going to be cultivated at is where the grow site address must be designated. Um, if we go to the bottom portion of this form here, uh, we see that the fees for registration are outlined. Uh, the box is split into two. On the left hand side here, uh, these are the standard registration fees. Uh, and the benefit registration fees uh, for a patient who is going to be their own grower or someone who is not going to list a grower entirely and is going to leave the third block box blank. Uh, the right side of this uh, fees box is for patients who will be designating a grower other than themselves, uh, such as a friend or again a family member, uh, anyone else who is uh, listed in this box who is not the patient's name will warrant an additional $50 for registration. This is due to the fact that the state will be running a background check on this individual to be sure that you know what you're getting involved with. Um, I would like to briefly just run through the discounts. You'll notice that the standard registration with no reduced fee is $200. It is going to be $250 if someone does not qualify for any reductions and is going to list a grower other than themselves. If you have the supplemental nutrition program, the program is supplemented by one hundred and forty dollars so the standard registration would be sixty the standard registration with a grower would be 110 uh, if you have the Oregon health plan the registration is supplemented by one hundred and fifty dollars and is reduced to standard of fifty uh, one hundred if you were to have a grower um, and then with the supplemental security income and veterans one hundred percent disability proof the program is supplemented by $180, meaning that the registration would be $20 uh, if a patient is going to be their own grower, and it would be $70 if a patient is going to list another person uh, to cultivate their plants for them. Uh, the last uh, requirement on this document is going to be that you sign and date it. Uh, I would ask that you look it over one more good time just to be sure that all of your information is accurate, and then you will want to add this to your application packet. This is a brief review of the attending physician statement, the last form that the state will expect to receive in your application packet. You'll see that this form is broken into three boxes, box A, B, and C. Uh, box A will contain all of your personal information. Uh, we would ask that you would review all of this before submitting just to be sure that it is all accurate. Uh, box B contains the physician's information who reviewed your medical records and also conducted your physical examination. Box C contains the information for which you were approved for your medical marijuana card. Uh, it will require that at least one of the boxes uh, is checked, uh, that a comment is made, uh, and that the physician has signed and dated. I want to thank you again for attending the OMMC clinic this year for your Oregon Medical Marijuana Program recommendation. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our office. Uh, we have many resources that are available through live chat online and uh, telephone representatives that are available uh, during normal business hours. I want to thank you so much once again and look forward to seeing you for your renewal uh, visit, hopefully in much better health after a year of cannabis health care. Thank you very much.